Welcome to another episode of Snack Shack with Will and Justin. Today we got a special guest. This is Dang, one of our, our good friends of the show. I'm Dang. And uh, today we got a special episode for you. We got sodas. We got sodas. We got sodas. And we got sodas. So first, I'm going to show you what we got. This is called a bio Bionade Lemon Bergamot. Uh, that sounds interesting. This is a, a sweet little soda pop shop. Uh, uh, Shirley Temple. I like those. Yeah, Let me pop this one open. This is... I don't know what bergamot is. Alm Dubbler. I have no idea what that is. What, what is it? Alm Dudler. Oh, Alm Dudler. It's got two cowboys dancing. Or a cowboy and a cowboy. So we're going to get that ready. Uh, this one smells very strong. It's dandelion and burdock soda by Fentimins. We'll give. Oh, yeah. That actually kind of smells really good. Interesting. Yes. All right. And then finally, we got uh, this carbonated ramoon drink, which is kind of a popular Japanese, I believe. It is. Drink. We popped the, bu the ball in already, but this is a yuzu flavor. We're not sure what yuzu is, but... I know what yuzu is. I believe yuzu is uh, a citrus fruit. It's sort of somewhere between an orange and a lemon. So it's, it's got a sharp tang, but an orangey nuance. A dang tang. A dang tang. So All right. Say. So, let's... Uh... So you're going to close your eyes. I'm going to close my eyes. And uh, you're going to pour us all sodas. And you're going to try and guess what we're drinking. Yeah. Is that the rules? All right. Let's, All right. Uh, let's start it off. All right. Shut your eyes. Um, let's let's try this one first. We're going to go with... The password is... Bum, bum, bum. Or some for Dominic. A little for Will. And a little for... Your name's Dang. Who... Yeah. My apologies. Dang. All right. So... Do this. Well, we want to put that bottle. Yes, that uh, would give it away really quickly. All right. Well. All, All right, right. You can look. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Let's give it a shot. The nose, the smell is a lot like Sprite. I thought Sprite or Seven Up. It does have a Spritey nose. What do it you kind of tastes like cider. Oh, yeah, it does kind of have a cidery fruit feel to it. I see that. I feel like on the carbonation level. Yeah, for sure. Very tasty, very refreshing. I enjoyed that. I'm going to contribute some to the bowl. Same. The bowl. Yeah, that's pretty big. Gonna Will, pour. do you want to tell us what the bowl is for? We, we got a bowl here that we're going to pour out the extras. We're going to pour a little bit of all of these from our bottles, and I'm going to try them all at the at end. At once. And I'm going to see what they all taste it's like. It's going to be a super soda. All right. What, what did you call it for you? I called it a funk punch. Funk punch. All right. Well, uh, we'll see. All right. Why don't you close your eyes again? Did you want to oh. guess what? what oh yeah, you got right? Sorry, my bad. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. It's one of these five. I'm guessing it's one of these two. Color wise, that yeah. makes sense. So you want to so, go for Bionade or a Ramune? I'm guessing. This one. You are correct. We nailed it. He guessed right. Lemon bergamot. And what? So what do we think of this? I thought it was good. It was um, yeah. tart, like a like an apple cider. Yeah, or, really good. Like All right. Said, Way to go, good. Bionade people. Yes. Lemon lemon bergamot. They've been Bergamont. pioneers since 1994. Yes. Okay. William, do you remember 1994? No. <laughs> All right. Let's uh, try our second beverage. Um, this time I think they'll mix it up a little bit, and, uh... Don't mix it up too much, otherwise it'll explode. That's right. We're it's a little go. soda humor for you. Try that. I can hear the sparkles. Well, hopefully they all have sparkles. Sparkles make the soda. We'll discuss more on that later. <laughs> Are we having a lesson in carbonation later? All right, uh, William, please join us. Ooh, that one looks... Not much of a smell. I don't know what to expect here. Well, let's give it a shot. Hmm. 
I don't really know what that tastes like. Flowers. Yeah, it tastes botanical. Let's let's see what the can says. The uh, oh well, the... you've you've spoiled the guessing part of this one. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, whoops. Um, it might have been any of these. <laughs> That's true. It could have been any of them. We'll shuffle them around. Yes. All right. What did you think? I thought. Well, I mean, we know you guessed which one yes, it was. Yeah. Wow, what a good guesser you are. You nailed it. You're clever. Okay, yep. I'm going to pour some of this. What did you think of that one, though? It was actually really good. You liked it? What did you like about it? Kind of like a flower taste to it. Would you uh, drink it at a baseball game? Or would you go with a Dr. Pepper? Mm. Maybe at a tea party. Yeah. Mmm. So right. it's in a garden. I'll contribute my to the to the funk punch. It's a little um these ones we would have to pour less because it's getting a little bit more full. Right, well we don't you don't have to drink it all. I think we're in order here. Alright. Alright, since the kind of the cat's out of the bag here, I think we're gonna just gonna try them all together. Okay. Um actually I've been wondering about this Shirley Temple for Same. Toronto. I am very excited for that one because I love Shirley Temples. I do too. Oh, right. I like the label too. Yeah. I don't know what uh Shirley Temples are. Can one of you in It's kind me? of like a Sprite that has like cherry kind of. Oh. I think you're right. I think it's Sprite with cherry juice. And do you know how it got its name? How? Well, there was an actress in the, I don't know when, but I a long time ago. burped, by the way, and because we're drinking so many bubbles. I've been so worried about burping, <laughs> and I know it's coming. Oh. There was an actress, I believe in the 30s, and her name was Shirley Temple. And she was one of the first real famous celebrities who was a real little kid. She was younger than you. She was like six or seven when she was uh, getting famous. So when they'd go to parties, she would want to order a drink just like all the other celebrities did. And so they invented a drink just for her so she could feel like a grown-up. And that's a dang fact. It's a dang fact. I just need a little bit more sip. It's real good. It, it is, is really, really good. good. Cheers. Um, <laughs> Yes, it is. I actually remember having these at my grandma's house when I was a kid. But they were homemade. They were, like you said, Sprite with the little cherry juice. Mm -hmm. You haven't contributed much to the Funk Punch. I feel like that's where you're getting all the works. Well, I, I see that you guys are finishing a lot, and I love soda so much, so I'm kind of excited. So what do you want to do next? We've got two more left. We've got the Fentimans. And we got the, uh, the yuzu. Well, these aren't our two only ones. We do have a surprise for the end. That is true. I did bring a bonus soda. All right. You can't come to a soda show empty-handed. Empty You've got to bring a soda this, for oh. this one looks interesting. It does. And mm. as we discussed, it, smells like, it kind of smells like bubble gum to me. In my head, it's oh, like yeah, a it's deeper, nice. darker Shirley Temple. It's like a Shirley Temple who laid out on the beach too long. Or an evil Shirley Temple. An evil Shirley Temple. That has its dark and regular Shirley Temples are light. Mm. But that's just a guess. I have no idea what to expect with this guy. Almost a cola color, though. Yeah, it smells like bubblegum. Tastes like bubblegum and licorice together having a fight in my mouth and no one's winning. No one's winning. <laughs> no one's winning at all. Me. Um, William, what's your, uh, opinion? It's kind of, like, r really strong and sweet. Yeah, I think it's oh, going to yeah. overwhelm the funk punch. We might not want to put all yeah, of our remainder not, in it. Yeah, let's not put too much in there, or any at all. I, I mean, mean, you can put a little I'll bit. Put, put, put a splash. Just a splash of there we go. burdock. And it already made the funk punch so much darker. Yeah. Well, it's good. It, the funk punch needed a little color. Yeah, a little color. Um, it, was, it was looking a little pale. As usual, I'm going to finish mine. I don't want to finish mine. All right, let me take this since we don't want to pour it all in the funk punch. I'm going to try to finish mine. Like I said, I love soda, so I'm going to go to town. Oh, I'm a big soda fan myself. Can I pour this one into you? Yep, please? we got the, the final one that we brought. The yuzu, which okay. somewhere between a lemon and an orange. And an I orange. believe so. I could be wrong. We're going to drink it, and maybe I'll be wrong, and we'll know. Can't wait. I can't believe I have not burped once yet. I, driving here, was like, this is going to be a Purple disaster. Oh, 
You picked the hardest one to pour. Because <laughs> of ball. Yeah, there's a reason why most sodas don't have marbles in the bottom. <laughs> you want me to That's see what I can do? Oh. Can, can I have some more? Do you want a little bit more? No, I'll be good. All right, actually, that's it. All right. Here's the whole thing. It smells actually really good. It smells kind of like a Mountain Dew, even. Uh-huh. It's, to me, like a lighter, um, less sugary Mountain Dew. Yeah. To me, I see it's like sort of like a orangina that was put through a filter. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I haven't had an orangina forever. Yeah, I kind of tastes a little bit of orangina. A little bit. I like it. I like it too. Very refreshing. That's what I like in a soda. I feel like the Ramun, I don't know if it's Ram, Ramune or Ramune. I'm not sure. But they know how to make a soda. That's all I am sure about. Yes. Um, we had the watermelon when we picked these up from Love the watermelon. World Market. I also we, the lychee one is good. We are looking for sponsors here at uh, Will and Justin Snack Shack. So World Market, you got some snacks. We got the shack. All right, we got. Uh, All right, I mean, you want to pour that in the photo part? Right, no, we need that guy to go in there because we have nothing yeah. else to contribute. Since you poured all. <laughs> all right. All right. Final. All right. You want to show? Can the... I have mine? Yeah, you need the glass back. Yeah. No, that's. Here. There you go. Shuffling. There we go. All right. Uh, Cup shuffling. So uh, I'll pour this one since I brought it over. We've got Mountain Dew. It's a holiday. Merry Mashup flavor. I'm excited for that one. That one sounds pretty good. Got cranberry and pomegranate flavor with other natural flavors. All right, let's check I it can't, out. I can't vouch for the other natural flavors, but I do like cranberry and I do like pomegranate. As do I. We actually, um, um, my uh, special friend... Brooke, so my girlfriend, it brought some treats home today. She brought home some special Jelly Bellies, and they're holiday flavored, and there is a cranberry sauce in there. Wow. I'll we'll have to show you those later. An eggnog, even. Eggnog? I had an eggnog latte today. I hate eggnog. I'm a big fan. We got Will's input on the eggnog. Not a fan. All right, let's try this. All right, Mountain First, Dew, Mary Mash. Before, before we do this, cheers. To our final soda. All right. Good. Not bad. Not as good as the Shirley Temple. No. I think the f my favorite one is the Shirley Temple. Yeah, I think so too. Really? Really? It's your favorite one. I think my least favorite is Dandelion and Bird. Yeah, that, that one I would not return to. I, um, I really like the uh, the lemon bergamot. I actually I'm gonna take another sip. That was nice. My first favorite. Um, oh. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to change this one because you can't drink this like a soda. Like I started to drink it. Mm. Not refreshing. Oh. All right. Well. I think Shirley Temple might be the winner. Shirley Temple first for me. Um, Excuse me. Not the me. last one I hated was this one. And we have to pour some of this into here. All right. That means it's time. Right, um, we can... Time for the okay. funk punch. You want a glass for this? Yeah. We got the funk punch. Who wants to pour it? I'm, I'm gonna pour it. In. I'm gonna pour it in here. Yeah, I don't want. I'm gonna, I don't I'm gonna, gonna make a mess. That. So sorry, Brooke. Not bad. Not bad. Let's look get, at that. That looks really good. Hold it up again. Oh, it doesn't look bad. Kind of looks like a Coke with a lighter. It looks like half of the sodas we drank today. Yes. It actually right. smells really good. Mmm. Smell. Smells sweet. Mm, sweet, uh, really sweet. Yeah. Ready? Three, two, one. What do you think? It's actually really good. Wanna try? You better not be tricking me. You know, it's actually pretty good. All right, so to make this recipe, you only need six bottles of soda. Yes, and only a splash of each. Just a splash of each. And then, yeah. All right, I think we're going to say goodbye on that note. Oh. Liam's going to chug this whole um, glass after you leave. Go, 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 go. No. <laughs> <laughs> we got a bad influence over yeah. here. Yeah. 
Unfortunately, that's true. All right, well, this is Will, Dang, Dang, and Justin signing off for today. I hope you liked our soda episode. Thanks for joining us. Bye.